Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld Alpha 13 Extreme Difficulty Edition. And winter is almost going. Pirate Merchant, another one. Green Grow Corporation. I'm not sure that the pirates are really going to have that much to offer to us, unless this time they've brought some people. But I think the pirates stop bringing people to sell once you hit a certain population. So, yeah, that is indeed the case here. Um, so, again, I'm going to keep those things. I'm going to keep the bionic eye. We're not going to buy their overpriced medicine. Um, we are good in components, I think. And we're getting some more. I don't know. What the hell? Let's get some more. It would suck to run out. We do have the ability to make to craft our own, though. And we're going to have to start doing that soon. Because <laughs> we do have the space for it. We're mostly waiting for metal, of which we still have none. Or steel, rather. Because I'd like to rebuild my guns, you know, before something like this happens. So, Wake is idle. Which actually surprised the heck out of me. Because he is on full-time hauling cleaning duty, but he is limited to the base still. It's actually quite surprising. But that's okay. I doubt he's going to be idle very long. Anywho, we've got some pirates coming in. I'm going to prepare for a while, then attack. Nice and far from the base. Let's go ahead and make sure to restrict everyone to area one for now. So that Zurin doesn't go out and suicide themselves or anything like that. Um, all the traps outside are prepped. Really not a whole heck of a lot for us to worry about. I'll turn the gun on now just in case for some reason there's issues. But I think just like last time, what we'll end up doing... I don't know if they brought any sappers. That would be a bit annoying. Um, what we'll end up doing is hoping they mostly kill themselves in the trap. And we will set ourselves over here with some guns. And it probably won't take very much at all to convince them to leave. Cancel wake. Move everyone in here. If these people decide to leave right as the pirates advance, then we'll have some extra backup in this fight. Put you over there. Put you over there. And that'll be it. Keep you in there, because otherwise there might be too many dumb kills. So where are they? Alright, looks like no sappers. No one started attacking any walls yet. I don't reason the game was getting choppy there for a sec. Are you going to go and... What, what was that? Oh, some of you are going around the traps. I'm going to have to set up some more. Well, I can't build right up against the wall, but I think what I'll do is try to pinch off this area over here and maybe over here so they'll be convinced they have to walk so much further to avoid all the traps. Where are the merchants? I didn't track them leaving. Oh well. So yeah, so we're going to have to do a little bit more killing because there's not going to be enough of them to die to the traps. Oh, fire. Where are you setting fire to? Oh, you're setting my plants on fire! Yeah, that sucks. It's not going to take much more. I like how they keep moving towards the cover. They don't, they're not using this for cover. There we go. Now they're fleeing. Come out over here. Unrestrict everyone. Again, except for Wake. Since right now he still doesn't walk very much. Um, we're going to go right there so we can shoot you. And go and set the, put this out before they burn down all of my trees. Well, there we go. Easy. Oh, and we do have someone we can capture. Um, let me... Sorry, Emultron. We're going to boot you out of there. Hahula. Capture Megumi. We do at least have extra bedrooms set up over there, so Emultron would be fine. Megumi, what do you look like? You are... Nothing's been shut off. You can't haul. God, no one can freaking haul in this game. It's really annoying. Your cooking skill is really good, though. Uh, psychically dull is good. Pessimist is not great, but it's not terrible. We'll probably grab you. Alright, we'll give you herbal meds and chat and recruit. Okay. And someone can turn off the guns. A combat supplier. Mm. I guess we'll talk to them. Oh, that's the pirate. We could buy some more regular medicine, but I'm not sure that that's really something we're interested in. Could buy another bionic eye, but we're good right now. We could buy a backup kidney. What the hell, we'll do it. Since we're not going around harvesting body parts from people right now, because it leads to a lot of bad moodlets. And I'm not sure that we can necessarily handle that. I don't know, maybe we can. Like, maybe at this point we're, we've, we've reached, we've got good enough bedrooms and whatever so that we can 
afford to take negative moodlets from butchering people. But I think I'd rather avoid it. So, what I want to do... Is say something like... Actually, yeah, I'm going to slate wall this completely. Put a wooden door there. And then here, I'm going to set up another one of our little trap do areas. I think this will just mean people won't use this at all. Like, attackers won't use this at all, which would suit me just fine. I really don't think we actually need this many doors, because I don't think our people are going to use this very much. Uh, security. Traps. Um, we'll use marble instead, because I think we've got a lot of that. Hang on. Nope, sandstone that we have a lot of right now. Since I'm using slate for the actual walls themselves. I don't think we're going to have enough material to do all of these, but we are going to continue to carve some blocks, and so these will get built out over time. Building the walls up is actually going to be the most important thing, because this is just adding a lot more walking time to what's going on here. So, just going to encourage people to choose this route instead of walking over here whenever possible. But if they do, they can do that. If they decide to go all the way around here, well then there's really nothing I can do to stop them, because I can't build right along the edge. But that's okay. I don't suppose... Yeah, you're going to haul that. Can I prioritize you just... Work in the crematorium? Nice. That's a lot better than dragging the bodies out to the middle of nowhere. And again, as far as I know, their clothing will just explode outwards, and that's indeed what's going on. Someone's got an infection, that's probably Megumi. Alright, you can go and consume your meal. Rather than haul the potatoes, why don't you go and burn some more bodies? Okay, they've already been hauled out of the way, so I'll be less worried. Now that they're over here, I'm not going to prioritize the cremation anymore, because at least people won't see the bodies. But it's nice to save a little bit of walking by grabbing them here and going directly into the crematorium. I could move the body storage in a little closer at this point, since our cremation system is actually working pretty well. But that's okay. Megumi, how you doing? You got the infection, minor infection, but you will get treated with herbal meds, so I think you're going to be okay. Everything else has been healed up. Bedrooms are coming along nicely. We do have a good number of them. There might be... This one's not in use by anyone. So we've got one spare bedroom. It'd be nice if people would pair off a little bit more, but... You know, what can you do? We can build more bedrooms over here, and we will. That's one of the reasons we're preemptively carving this out. I mean, keep some of our people busy, our miners, but overall it's so that we can prep for some more bedrooms in the future, which is all good and groovy. We're going to have to clean up this blood at some point, but that's okay. We still have to finish these guns at some point. And we're still waiting on steel for that. I mean, as soon... Well, it is spring. We do thick snow still, so I'm not going to send people out to do whatever. This is food. And while that is going to require walking through the snow, I think it's a fine priority to set that up. Because otherwise, what's going to happen? Are you burning clothes from the outside there? That is so annoying. Um, otherwise, what's going to happen is... Uh, some animal's going to come by and eat it. Just some rabbits or something. Speaking of animals, nothing for us to hunt, right? Mm, no. Yeah, getting this sort of structure up. Mostly what we're doing is trying to create longer pathfinding to encourage them to walk through other traps. Because I doubt they'll actually walk through these. But, what the hell, right? The stone doesn't really cost as much. I mean, it does because it takes time to carve the blocks, and we do want the stone for other construction. But it's not that much of a big, big deal, and I think it's a good investment in what we're doing. Who have failed to recruit? I wonder if we might want to get Hohula to finish her crafting duties. Did you actually, yeah, you were building that gun. It'd be nice if you could finish one. Oh, you're actually starting on an armored vest instead. Is this where we make the guns? No. Yes, it is, actually. You had more than one project going on. Now you're in bed. All right, well, that's very helpful, Hohula. Thank you for that. I would like someone who's on full-time crafting duty. And, I mean, you could... Can you restrict these to people? No, I don't think so. I mean, maybe there's a way. I guess maybe with, like, restricted burrow type stuff, you could potentially pull something off. Colonist Idle Wake has got nothing to clean. Um, what I could do with Wake is I'm going to restrict him to home instead, so he'll actually have a little bit more to clean up. We'll just reset him. You can clear out snow. That's good. Area revealed. I guess something got revealed over here. Actually, a little bit of snow, but it's hardly a reveal.
A little bit of poor mood, but it's not really lasting. It's probably just a little bit of, like, ugly environment here, just barely putting them over the edge for a second, but that's going to get cleaned up. All some stuff from there. Jeff working on his art. It does take a long time to finish, but it's a lot of value. A lot of stuff we can sell. I'm going to haul that, and we're going to, just because it was annoying me, extend the stockpile zone to there. So now it's nice and square, looking really good. Plant's doing okay there. Devil Stand, Strand is still growing very, very, very slowly. I don't think we've gotten a harvest war yet. Maybe we did. I don't know. That's our bionic eye, which is still great. We've got a lot of material here for the clothing production. So yeah, we could have someone literally, like, focus on tailoring more aggressively. For example, perhaps with a hula here, I'm going to do this. So now she's actually more likely to tailor than haul. And that might be okay. Still need a lot of hauling. But maybe someone else can do it. Although she's also going to get, you know, stuck doing trading. From, wow, that doesn't take very long, so it's not a big deal. Zurin, you're hauling... Oh, you're hauling the rice from out here, which I can't complain about. Food stores are really good right now, so I'm happy about that. I'm going to turn off the forever simple meal job. We'll keep 10 simple meals around, but mostly we're going to do forever cook fine meals whenever possible. That would be ideal. Oh, you guys are stopping out there. Odd. I'll let you finish sowing the daylily. There you go. And then go and talk to Mankin. Rice coming up. Yeah, I think our food problems are a thing in the past, now that we've probably set up. Uh, we can sell some really crappy weapons that we just got from the latest attack. Um, I'm going to keep the trio of grenades. Again, I don't really trust them usually, but it's probably not a bad idea to keep around. What the hell, we'll buy some beer. And... We could buy some, you know what, I'll buy some nutrient paste meals. So they will be very low on the priority list, but at least there's something else. Oops. Go back. I guess we'll buy a little bit more than that, or maybe sell a little bit less. There we go. So we'll keep this charge rifle. Okay. Yeah, beer and some meals. Here's what ails you. Cargo pods. Chinchilla meat. Alright, I don't think we've had chinchilla meat before. It sounds delicious. Raspberry bushes are... Frozen raspberries in the winter? Actually, they're quite good. Frozen raspberries. Put it on ice cream. <gasps> That's what we need. We need an ability to make ice cream in this game. And a new recruit. Imultrin recruited Megumi. So Megumi, I'm going to tell you... To equip a gun right away. You're not a brawler or anything like that. I mean, you're not a particularly good shooter, but you've got that. That's going to work out fine. We're going to give you a name. You are going to be... Red RCL. Welcome to the party. And we're going to figure out... Oh, we didn't set those restrictions before. So we're going to go and tune that like that. And what do you do? Oops. Well, you firefight. Patient. Make sure you're not a bad doctor. I'm going to enable that. Bed rest, flick. Uh, turn that off. And that, and that. Actually, you're a pretty good cook. You're not the worst researcher. Although, that's kind of what Imultrin is going to fill all their time doing. So you'll, you'll cook, and I think then you'll craft. Because anyone can just cut bricks. Or whatever. That's going to be fine. They're low skill labors. That's going to be okay. Um, I could enable construction repair as well, and I suppose I probably will do that. Uh, you can't plant cut, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, you can build and repair. You're not particularly good at it, but well, I suppose if, for our furniture. You know, we've got enough people doing that. So yeah, mostly what you're going to do, you can help cook, which is perfectly fine. And otherwise, you will sit around making blocks for us. And because you don't have anything else in your queue, you will be doing that quite often. In fact, you already are doing that. Cutting blocks, or you'll smelt down some metal. Very nice. Because we did just use a whole bunch of blocks for construction, and we want some more. I think I'm going to like the flow. Hahulu is working on the tailoring regularly now. Jeff is doing the art regularly now. Elmatron is doing that. We need someone assigned to... What skill is this? Minimum crafting skill. But it always says that, doesn't it? 
No minimum cooking skill. Okay, so crafting can do this. Um, so for the assault rifles, okay, six, yeah. Armor vest, again, we're going to say you have to be at least a six. And a six. I don't want any really crafty, crappy helmets or guns. But anyone can disassemble things, and that's going to be a perfectly fine use. Combat supplier and a bulk goods trailer. Hello! Where's the hula? Sleeping. Eh, yeah, good enough. You're going to be going back to sleep in a second. First, the bulk goods. So... We can buy a bunch of steel from you. Which we will do. Because we, we can use all of it. We can use all of it. I guarantee you. I'm not going to sell any of the leather and stuff as is. We're hoping our clothing industry is finally kicking in. We could buy meat, but we're actually doing okay. Buy some Yorkies? No. I think this is what we're going to do. We're going to buy 2,200 units of steel. And call that good enough. So that's one. And then Huhula, you can talk to the export company. And we can sell this crummy gun, pistol... You know, keep these um, these various grenades and stuff around. And I think that's going to be it. All right. So now we have lots of steel. That's all going to get hauled in. We can start our gun production. In fact, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is queue up. At least those. And that's going to be fine and very happy making. We could also, I don't know if we have enough for all of this literally, but I'm going to get the component assembly bench right over here and a little comfy chair right there. Excellent. There we go. Finish the flooring. Yeah, this is very, very, very good. Very, very, very good. I'm exceedingly happy about that. I mean, we did spend a lot of money, but that's one of the reasons you make money. So that we can bulk buy steel, wood, food in case of emergency, but food... Food stockpiles are good. And summer hasn't even come yet. What is this? Cobra skin. Sure, we'll unforbid it. And a, oh, a poison ship. Poison ship, a lot less dangerous. Oh, that's an interesting position. A lot less dangerous, I think, than the psychic drone. Because, especially right now, I don't think... I hope it doesn't kill our internal plants. Or, say, these. So we don't have any crops growing outside right now. Although it is spring. By the 11th of spring, we can grow plants outside. So we are going to want to deal with this properly soon. But what I could do is run some power out over here. Like that. Get a series of guns here. Then put a little bit of wall in between them. So when one explodes, it don't kill the other. And that'll be good. And I'm actually going to get a dumping stockpile set up, say, over here. So I'm going to extend it a little further. It's going to be clear all, chunks, critical priority, and haul this. So we'll get our defenses set up over here and the gun set up over there. And then we'll turn this on. And we should be able to get this taken care of pretty cleanly, I think, before the growing season starts. I hope it doesn't kill the trees. That would be a little bit sad. And I'm going to go and cancel these guns. I'm going to leave all the ones up on the back wall. But we're going to focus on getting steel um, over here. And I will cancel the component assembly bench as well. Although I think we need components to get the guns going, but I think we're going to be okay. No one's restricted to the inside of the base. No, just wake, and that's fine. Those guns are set up. We might need them for this. Again, our goal will be to get the poison ship down to 50%. Most likely, these guns actually will get destroyed in the end. Because we are going to focus on the poison ship. Yeah, that's almost certainly the right thing to do. Rather than focus on killing things. Get the walls up. That tree will have to go. These things are getting hauled in place. Oh yeah, we're going to be able to do this really soon. At least it's not toxic fallout. Toxic fallout is a lot more annoying. Although we handled it surprisingly well early on. And at this point, I think the toxic fallout would be okay. Uh, other than the fact that it would mean a, a, like our growing season wouldn't happen. But at this point, we do have our internal growing, which I should have done ages ago. But we're good. Okay, so this is all finishing up. Excellent. So yeah, long pathing around here, even if we don't finish the rest of the traps. It's hardly a big deal. In fact, maybe what I'll do is, to save a little bit of time, is I will say, 
do that. This one's already started, so I'll let it finish, but otherwise we are good. We don't have the material for it right now anyway, so that's okay. A little bit of cooking happening down there with our new recruits. What are we actually up to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 people in our little colony. Very good. Someone could have that rabbit, but I don't think so. Wake is unhappy right now. Why are you unhappy? Because you ate nutrient paste. Why would you do that? Shouldn't that be a low priority food? Why would you eat the nutrient paste before the fine meals? That doesn't make any sense, Wake. Something about their um, their food priority is screwed up. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, so that's all done. So I'm actually going to say um, delete the stockpile now, just in case. These guns aren't on a toggle, so they will just be on draining power. That's not a real problem. <laughs> Hauling steel to the turrets, getting the work done, getting a little bit of rest. It is a long walk over here. It's like deceptively long. It's not right outside of our base. I mean, I wonder if I did something like a triple door system over here, if it might convince anyone who spawned over here to still walk all the way around here. But I'm not sure that it would. So I feel safer just having, a, well, an impassable wall for different values of impassable, depending on what kind of sappers decide to attack us. Yeah, growth rate 100%. I don't know if these have died. Okay, no, the poison ship is definitely affecting us inside of our base. Because all our hydroponics are dead. Okay, well, I'm happy that I'm not taking my time with this. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and build these defenses, but, you know, we did that right away. I didn't let it sit idle. It does suck that it affects things inside the base. Wow, that is brutal. I bet you that killed our, um, our Devil Strand crops before we ever got a chance to harvest them. And that is really disappointing. One of these is a strawberry plant. Yeah, throwing some more Devil Strand in there for the future. Hauling components. Good, good, good. And actually getting them built. Okay. A little bit of harvest here. I'm happy actually they're harvesting that before they die, but it's probably out of range. These... It looks like these have started to get affected by the poison ship. And a little this yeah, I think one the one I selected just died. And they're about to be finished growing too. I think I might rush an early harvest over here. Before they die to the poison ship. We probably won't get anything about it. Actually they're gonna be sitting around replanting, which is a bit awkward. At least the construction's gonna finish anytime now. I think most of these have their materials. They were just waiting for someone to physically come and build. And Jeff is where is Jeff right now? Probably a million miles away. Oh, he's got to bring some more stuff. Okay, so that's fine. So yeah, when the last gun goes, we'll get everyone out here. And I think, hopefully that's all the materials needed. Excellent. Okay, let's do this. Recruit everyone. Go here. Unrecruit Wake. His melee would just get him killed. And there. Now, our people are going to be a little bit vulnerable to splash damage here. Because they are close together. Oh, someone is supposed to be standing there. Um, and one of the nice things to normally do against these mechanoids is split up. Because first of all, anyone with the minigun, as we've seen, is incredibly inaccurate. And is like the least threat there is. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and group up a little bit more. Okay. We can't aim the guns, which is actually really frustrating. I don't, I don't know why they changed that. But all you guys, attack that. Captain Sledge has no weapon. That's right, because I never gave him another one after the last time. That was a problem. Please don't get shot in the back by your own people. IU, I'm going to de-do that. Everyone, I'm going to set you to area one. So as I deselect them, they will go and run inside. Uh, so this is, we got to get it below 50%. Oh shit, they blew up the power conduit. That's really bad. Oh yeah, poison ship's under 50% now. Everyone run away. Run. It is snow, which is particularly bad. And then they're just gonna scatter here. Actually. Everyone shoot the scyther. Ahula's down, oh no. 
And I'm not sure we're going to be able to do anything about that. Oh, we've got another Scyther coming. There's a lot of freaking Scythers! Kesh does down. Oh, I'm really particularly uh, worried about Hohula. Okay, I think we're going to be okay now. Like, to get out of here, but... Eesh. Oh, Immultron's down too. Okay, that went like a hundred times worse than expected. A hundred times worse than expected. God, they're sniping me from a million miles away. Suspect everyone who's outside is going to bleed to death, and I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Oh my god, I forgot to run the EMP. Although, we've seen the EMP be pretty poop before. In fact, last time it just turned off one of our own guns. I mean, we may be able to get some, uh... What the shit? And Jeff couldn't get away. No, Jeff! Do we have anyone in the base who's still medicable? Yeah, Wake. Actually, that's a good incentive to keep Wake back. Since he actually can medic. Yeah, I don't think, like, we're gonna get a useful shot off at all. It's gonna reset you. At least this thing is still loaded for the future. And it's possible this thing will die from the next set of traps, which means only two centipedes, which isn't bad. Yeah, you did go down. Nice. I'm actually a little worried about brown pants getting shot there. Well, actually, here's been proven to be pretty safe. Holy crap. Go-go traps. Only one person left. Are you kidding me? You're giving me a Zot right now? Which is going to drain all my batteries. These, I think, will still have power, though. And actually, these are already pretty injured as well. Luckily, the charge blaster is super inaccurate. Okay, before it shoots again, run away. Oh, Captain Sledge! Thank you. No, run in here. Everyone help, put out the fire. Oogie, wake up. Come on, die already. Die, 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 die. Because we need to go and pick up everyone from outside. ASAP. I'm going to make some extra medical beds. Because obviously we're going to need that. I'll just deal with the fire. The temperature in here. 104 degrees. Come on. Oh, and then you're out. You're officially out of power. Okay, this thing just shot, so we should be pretty safe to come out here. Fucking die already. Thank you. Okay. Restrict. Uh, unrestrict everyone. We're going to rescue. Are you dead already? No, oh, I've got a power conduit selected. That's not going to help. Rescue Hahula. Rescue Kejta. Rescue Imultron. And finally, rescue Jeff. Go. Go, 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 go. How come you're still... There we go. We still haven't actually killed the, the poison ship. But I'm going to wait for there to be someone idle. And I'll go and take care of that before all our plants die. Severe illness. Come on, you can do it. Um, I guess I can turn that off. Because we only need... We've got 400 people, I think. Mostly. Ah, uh, there might be a little bit more from the fire. We're okay. Uh, Wake. Well, go over here. Maybe i attack that thing. Wake's gonna have his fun, too. Oh, Immultron's got an infection already. Jeff has died because of blood loss. Kejta has died because of blood loss. Damn it! Save Hahula. Hula's too useful. Oh, my God. Leg and hand. 
blown off. Non medical, non medical. Damn it! Infection. I tried to get to you as soon as I could. I'm so sorry. And we can deconstruct this stuff. Boom. Good job, Wake. Assuming a fine meal. Why don't you haul some of the steel inside the base? Rex that hit a trap. What the? Why did you hit a trap? Alright, you're not too badly hurt, thank God. You must have been doing something with these bodies. We got some visitors who might have something to trade. Um, I don't know who our most talky talky person is right now who's not down. Brown pants at a skill of 10. Probably they don't have a whole lot going on, but we're going to give it a try. Two fatalities here, and we've got a lot of injuries as well. We're going to sh sell the shoddy minigun. I had the EMP grenades. I had the MP turret. I mean, the MP turret, honestly, is, sh is shit. But actually, the grenades would have been really nice. Also, I could have used the Molotov again, like I've done before. And that would have worked out pretty well. Oh, well, next time. You are Shattered Humorous. I don't remember if Shattered ever comes back or not. I suspect you can't. And the Humorous is in the arm, so your manipulation is poop. We need someone to come by and sell bionic arms. Well, now that we don't have any money, someone will. That's exactly what's going to happen. We need to rebuild that wall right there. <sighs> well, we're down to 10. And honestly, I'm not sure that... I guess you can't do anything until you've got a leg. So we're going to have to give you a peg leg on your right. And that'll be it. <gasps> Imultrin died too? No, Imultrin had already died. We knew about that. Damn it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, no, someone else did die. I don't think we knew about Imultron after all. That was our third death. So out of that, three people died. And one person... I, I don't think Ahula was missing body parts before this. I'm surprised Ahula has, la has existed or survived that. <sighs> well. Damn. And we lost all of our harvest over here. But the colony goes on, which is all that matters. <laughs> Look on the bright side. We are still continuing to move along, and um, we've got Hahula. Someone else hit a goddamn trap. Why are you hitting these traps instead of walking through the doors? Psychic Soothe. Oh. Well, that's helpful right now, since so many people are going to die. Um... Ayu is still alive, married to Huhula, because they would have been pretty upset if one or the other went. Um, you're probably going around in, like, serious pain. Oh, my friend died times two. Want to sleep with Huhula? Well, she's in she's in the medical ward, man. Got a peg leg. We're just waiting for the anesthetic to wear off, and then she'll be able to get back out there. She's still missing that hand. Yeah, we seriously need some bionics, and I don't have any mods that, like, let us build our own right now. Um, I will, though, get the production of the components up and running once again. Requeue that, and we'll get our guns back on there. But we didn't lose any guns this time, which is really nice. Well, we lost, uh, I think we lost one here. Maybe two. I think one, and then the power got killed. I should have put a back wall, maybe. Um, but most of the other guns are just being disassembled, so that's going to be fine. Uh, these little slag chunks can get just hauled into the base. That's going to be groovy. Yeah, overall, not too bad. Well, we're going to put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching another episode, folks, and I'll see you guys next time.